Hello everyone, my name is Priscilla Ishan and my partner is Nathan. Our presentation is on malaria. Malaria is caused by the plasmodium parasite, but has four different species. The malaria parasite we are going to focus on is the plasmodium falciparum. In the video, I am going to discuss the body's immune response to the pathogen, the symptoms, treatments, outcomes with statistics, and the life expectancy of both the pathogen and host. In Sub-Saharan Africa, where PFOS syphilis is prevalent, when a child is conceived, it automatically inherits acquired immunity from the mother. Newborns are protected from the parasite within the first few months because of the antibodies given by the mother through the placenta. The antibodies decrease over time, leaving the child's own immune system to fight off the infection, which isn't strong to withstand the parasite. Therefore, the child becomes more and more vulnerable for infection. If the child survived multiple infections to an older age, around two to five years old, the body develops protective immunity. The protective immunity doesn't mean the child is completely immune to the pathogen, it means the malaria pathogen can still infect the child, but he or she will not develop severe malarial symptoms. Also, those who inherit the sickle cell trait are protected against P. falciparum, but there is no explanation as to why this is possible. Without treatment, it makes it difficult for the body's immune system to fight off this malarial parasite. Symptoms. Malaria has two different categories of symptoms, uncomplicated and complicated. The incubation period after an individual is bitten varies within 7 to 30 days and the symptoms will appear within or after that time period. Uncomplicated malarial symptoms last within hours with treatment, whereas complicated is long term and can lead to death. Uncomplicated symptoms include Fever, chills, sweating, headaches, muscle pains, nausea, and vomiting. Complicated symptoms include confusion, coma, severe anemia, respiratory difficulties, and focal neurologic signs. Plasmodium falciparum starts as uncomplicated symptoms, but without treatment, it can be severe and result to death. When bitten by the infected mosquito, and symptoms start to appear, it is important to seek treatment within the next 24 hours or the symptoms can become very severe. Treatments. Treatment of malaria depends on many factors such as the type of species of the infecting parasite, the area where the infection was acquired and its drug resistant status, the clinical status of the patient, any recent illness or condition the patient may have, pregnancy and drug allergies or other medications taken by the patient. There are many drugs for malaria, but the most effective drug for plasmodium falciparum is the artemisinin-based combination therapies, also known as ACTs, which is a combination of artemisinin derivatives with a partner drug. How this works is that during the first three days of treatment, the artemisinin compound reduces the number of parasites while the partner drug eliminates the remaining parasites. Severe P. falciparum treatment requires a parenteral antimalarial therapy such as quinidine gluconate injection, which is given to the patient first to reduce the parasite. Then the ACTs is given to kill the remainder of the parasites. Outcome and statistics. According to the World Health Organization, about 3.2 billion people are at risk of malaria. P. falciparum is the most prevalent parasite and is accountable for most malaria-related deaths. The sub-Saharan African population hosts the highest morbidity and mortality rates. In 2015, the region was home to 88% of malaria cases and 90% of malaria deaths. Worldwide, there has been a slight decrease in the morbidity and mortality rates. This data is showing the estimated cases and deaths of malaria from 2000 
to 2015. The number of cases is highlighted in purple and the number of deaths is highlighted in orange. The number of malaria cases in the year 2000 was 262 million and in 2015 it estimated to 214 million. <clears throat> the percentage decrease is about 18 percent. The number of deaths was 839,000 in 2000 and decreased to 438,000 in 2015 which is a decline of 48%. Hopefully over time, there is a drastic decrease within both the number of cases and deaths. Life expectancy of the mosquito, the human, and the pathogen. When the pathogen infects the host, the longer the host lives, the longer the pathogen lives within the host. There are approximately 430 species of Anopheles mosquitoes but only 30 to 40 of them transmit malaria. The adult female Anopheles mosquito can live up to a month. When the P. falciparum parasite infects the mosquito, the pathogen replicates, but nothing physically happens to the Anopheles mosquito. In the human body, the parasite starts to immediately take over the body and its immune system. The life expectancy in the human host depends on how long the body's immune response can tolerate the pathogen. Plasmodium falciparum parasite need a host in order to stay alive. When the host dies, the pathogen can no longer survive itself. This concludes the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.